here at City Hall, specifically it was two Republican assemblymen, one from Long Island, the other from Staten Island, and right by their side, various uh, representatives from numerous police uh, unions throughout the city. The legislation, yes, proposes that it would be a felony charge against anyone who throws or sprays water or any sort of liquid on a law enforcement officer. Take a look at the latest video. This was from one week ago, this episode of disrespect, if you will. Uh, police released video of a man who sprayed two NYPD traffic agents with a bottle of water. This was last Wednesday at 86th Street and Jamaica Avenue. You've got the one you talked about 10 days ago, the assault really on an officer who was first doused with water and then hit in the head with a bucket. That was at 7th Avenue and 115th Street. And then you've got the other incident that occurred in the Bronx. That one very disturbing. Lawmakers are hoping that this proposed legislation sends a message that this behavior will just not be tolerated. The fear is this. It's water now. It's gasoline or acid down the road. It's uncalled for. This behavior that actually demoralizes our communities. I've been a cop for a long time. But disrespecting police officers is not something new. It's never acceptable. It's never been acceptable. But, you know, cops aren't victims. We're not. We're here to prevent people from becoming victims. Now, again, this is proposed legislation. It's got a long way to go before it becomes law. It's got to get through the assembly, then it has to clear the Senate, and then it also, of course, needs the governor's signature before it becomes law. We asked the legislators here today if they sort of run this up the flagpole in Albany to see what kind of support it has. They told us that dialogue is just now getting underway.